Hello everyone, I'm doing my cover on my travel Traveller's Notebook insert volume 3. So I'm using the insert from my Prima cover which is very new and I bought it on Washi Lane, the website. It is an Australian based website for TNs and inserts and washies, all that sort of stuff. Lovely crafty website and I bought it ages ago. I cannot remember how long ago. It would have been a couple of months ago at least. And I wanted to try their inserts as well. And two came with the TN cover. So I was really, really happy with that. And this is the grey one. And there was another one with a black cover. So I've chosen my grey one to do the cover of today in this video. And I'm just using things that I've had in my stash from Happy Mail and from pocket letter swaps and flipbook swaps and even things I've printed out myself for scrapbooking and things like that. So anything crafty I'm just using and unbeknownst to me at the time, I ended up picking things that was very magic themed. So that's what you're going to see come out of this. So the first piece that I stuck down, I'm using my matte gel medium to stick down everything on this as well, just so you know. I used a printout of a Hogwarts school attendance slip or acceptance slip that um, I had actually received in a swap. So I just cut the top off that and I've got that going vertically. And then I've just used a tag which you can see that I've just stuck down and now I'm going through a ephemera pack, a Chamel ephemera pack. I do not know the collection name, I'm sorry. And I'm just flicking through because where I'm sitting on my desk, I have little jars all along my windowsill and my desks are flush up against my windowsill. So I can just pick up into those jars and look at all my ephemera pieces. So I've kept everything really close. And in the ephemera pack, I use a tag and a collection of books. So it all really goes together. The magic theme, the book theme, it's all there really and I've just used my matte gel medium to put down the book piece that's sitting at the bottom there and this is a ticket a platform nine and three quarters ticket for the train trip to Hogwarts that was another piece I got in a swap and the girl that you can see there is from Vera Lane Studio it's an online store on Etsy and the lady has many, many designs for her digital stamps. They're amazing. And it took me forever to get the guts to sort of buy it because I'm not that tech savvy with digital stamps and scrapbooking things. But when I did it, it was easy. So easy. You just click buy, pay for it. Then it gets sent to you uh, via an email to download downloaded it and then I used it actually as a word document and just kept adding it. So I printed an A4 sheet of multiples of this digital stamp and then I've just coloured them in. We're using my Windsor and Newton brush markers. I don't have many. I have a very small collection but I love them. They're so smooth, so easy to use and I find I'm getting better and better by using the same few stamps I do have to colour them in and then create new looks for those digital stamps. And I will eventually get more colours at the minute. I've just got one red, one green, a couple of blues, all the skin tones from dark to light, black and a grey. So I can alternate between shading with those, but I'm just slowly building it up. And it was kind of my mood at the day, on the day as well. So I was a bit melancholy, a bit down and out of sorts. So she sort of coloured in for that as well. And I've gone into my stash and picked out my stamps. I keep all the stamps I get in the mail, on my mail. And I cut them out and put them in a little envelope. And I just keep them until I'm doing a project like this where I just want one. Or I'll keep them until I want to do a whole page I've got an en masse album which is inspired by Sharon Green and I will do a double page spread of just stamps so I'm hoping to get enough to do that as well. 
long story short, but anyway, I'm using my Dragonfly green stamp on this page. So I've used sort of the same color palettes, um, all the same colors that resonate between a few things, all the blues and that craft brown sort of color from the tag. I'm using that as well. And I'm just looking for more things. I've pulled out a one of the dishes that I said I have on my windowsill. I'm just looking through that and that little pink pencil case I have in my handbag alongside my planner at all times. So I carry a few things with me if I ever want to journal or get crafty and arty. And I've ended up pulling out a printed picture. And it is from Harry Potter, <laughs> which all of my magic stuff usually is. And it is of Tonks and Lupin. And it's a animation cartoon drawn by someone on the internet. And they've posted it up probably on Pinterest. And someone's printed it and sent it to me in a swap. So I'm going to use it. And it's going to create an awesome background piece to go just to the left of my lady stamp. And this stamp, I, I don't know, I feel if I put a stamp on the front cover of one of these journals, it's representing me at the time, how I'm feeling, what I'm doing. And I really like how this cover comes together in the end. So I just use my gel matte medium to go over all the edges as well. I'm making sure everything sticks down. And I'm just testing the waters on top now of the stamp because I didn't know how it would go on top of my alcohol markers but it didn't smudge or smear which is really good handy to know so I can do it for in the future as well and I'm using my black stays on ink now to use one of the stamps I have so I'm putting on an XOXO stamp above her in the sort of white blank space that I've got up in the top left corner and that's going to be it for this cover I love how it looks I do have to add the volume 3 from magazine cutouts but I will have to find the letters first to put them on so I really hope you enjoyed this video it's just a flick quick flick through to show you what it can look like if you decorate your TN insert give us a thumbs up if you did like this video and if you want to see any more let me know in the comments below